this tutorial we will experiment with the medium of instant coffee painting techniques. This tutorial is part of the EcoArt Lessons and serves as another avenue of exploration into experimenting with different types of mediums to create art. Materials needed are a couple of papers from your sketchbook, some instant coffee, a teaspoon, some PVA glue, a water pot, paint palette, a collection of different sized brushes and a, potentially a sponge if you have one at home. Before we start making an artwork, let's make a mark making test page so we can select the best techniques. Here I'm showing three different strengths of instant coffee concentrate with a little water going from very strong dark colour to medium to light. In the first I placed a whole teaspoon of coffee with just one teaspoon of water which made it very dark and then to make it lighter each time you just add more water and less coffee. Make sure you mix the coffee with water until the lumps have fully disappeared. You can also try if you have a sponge at home to see what the effect looks like with a little sponging of the coffee. Here I'm also experimenting with wet and dry background so I let the coffee dry for a little bit to see if it's a crisper line which it was and you can also play around with some PVA glue for a coffee resist effect so I'm just doing a few dabs and writing the word hello. So really it's up to you to create your mark making techniques and then you can choose whichever ones you want to use when it comes to creating your final artwork. So lastly, once you've drawn out your design in pencil, might I add, not in pen, um, you want to start with any of the techniques that you thought were good. So I'm just using this sponge to dab a background over the top of my dragonflies. Can you make sure that you also design something that is related to nature as this project is linked to eco art? So it could be a beetle, it could be uh, any insect or butterfly you like, but make sure that you are using a selection of different diluted coffee so from dark to medium to light and don't forget about those techniques that we've been practicing. So now the coffee is dried you can see that I'm using a thin paintbrush just to go over the dried background coffee and you can see that it's not bleeding and it's a nice clean crisp line. Also once the PVA is dried I also go over the top of that for a resist effect. more dramatic impact I decided to make the background darker and I left a little bit of a lighter space around each of my dragonflies. You can also notice that the darkest intensity of coffee gives off a really nice reflection as shown in this demonstration here. 